My name is Miguel Francisco and welcome back to my channel. Today I did an all drugstore look for you guys, so if you want to see how to get this look using all drugstore products, then just keep on watching. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by using the LA Girl Smoothing Face Primer, um, which is going to help smooth and fill in any lines and pores that I have. It's also enriched with vitamin E, so that's going to be really good for your skin. Next I'm going to go in with L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the Liquid Grow Illuminator and I'm using the shade Rose to give my face an overall bronzy illumination that will also shine through the foundation. For foundation, I decided to give the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation a try. It does say that it's medium to full coverage and it is lightweight and oil free. It also indicates that it's long wearing, water resistant and sweat proof. So I feel like this would be a perfect foundation, especially for the summertime when it's a lot more hot and humid. So for first impressions, I really did enjoy this foundation. Um, it is a really thick consistency and it is medium to full coverage like it says. Um, you could definitely build it up. I feel like using a sponge would really help pick up any excess product so it doesn't lay too heavy. You don't over apply any foundation because it can get really cakey since it is a really thick consistency. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have also heard of really good things about this here on YouTube, so I decided to give it a try. I'm going to go in with two shades. I'm going to go in with the shade Medium, closer to my eye, which I'm applying now. And then now I'm going to go in with Sand, which is a little bit lighter, and I'm going to use this to brighten my under eyes. To prevent my concealer from creasing, I'm going to go ahead and set it using my Cody Airspun Powder. This is definitely something I've used in the past and it's something I really enjoy using. And it's a really finely milled product and it's perfect for setting under the eyes for baking. Um, I use this to set the rest of my face as well using a dual fiber brush. So this is a really good product. I know Patrick Starr swears by this product. Um, so I really do enjoy using this product as well. So for contour, I decided to use the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. And for contouring, I'm using the shades Tan and Toffee uh, mixed together. And I'm going to be using this to sculpt out my cheekbones as well as contour my temples of my forehead. So for blush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink and I'm apply this to the apples of my cheekbones and then just blend it into my contour. I originally wanted to use the e.l.f. blush palette but everywhere I went was sold out so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it and use it in an upcoming video for y'all. Now I'm just contouring my nose using those same two shades from the next contour palette in tan and top. Now I'm just going to go back in with my Cody Airspun powder and clean up my contour just to make sure it isn't muddy or messy and that there's a nice contour line there. I'm just going to blend out that line using that same contour blush with no additional product. So now I'm just going to set that concealer using the Cody Airspun powder and I did use that same Maybelline Fit Me concealer to apply my eyes. So for shadow, I am using the Milani Bare Necessities Little Eyeshadow Palette that they have and I'm using the second shade which is a light brown shade to use as my transition color. 
and I am going to concentrate most of the product on the outside and then once the product is distributed I'm going to work my way in. Now I'm going to go in with that dark brown to help deepen my crease and I'm applying this on my outer V and I'm going to be blending it into my lower crease just to add some dimension to that crease line. Now I'm going to take that icy frost shade in the palette and use this to highlight my brow bone. I'm also going to go back in with my blending brush to make sure everything is seamless and there's no harsh lines between that highlight color and my transition color. Now I'm going to take that gold shimmery shade in the palette and use this for my lip color. Next I'm going to go in with the brown coppery shimmer shade which is right next to it in that same palette and use this to transition the gold into that brown on my outer V. And I'm doing so just so there isn't a hard um, transition. It's a nice, soft, gradual transition from gold to brown. So now I'm just going to take that original transition color and use this to blend out my lower lash line. Now taking a flat definer brush, I'm going to pick up that dark brown shade and apply this directly to my lash line, not taking it any further than my lash line. So now I'm just touching out my eye and just adding a little bit more intensity to that outer V. I'm also going to apply a little bit more of that transition bronzy shimmer shade to that. Now for eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and take the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Designer Eyebrow Pencil and I'm using this in brunette. So this definitely was a letdown. I didn't really like using this. I mean, first of all, I don't typically use eyebrow pencils. I use I typically stick with the ABH pomade, um, just because it does give me that bold brow that I do like. And if you look back at my other videos, um, you'll see that I always have a bold brow, a nice dark, thick um, eyebrow, and I feel like this pencil really wasn't giving it to me. Now for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And I guarantee you everyone has at least used this mascara once. It's that um, basic mascara, the one that comes in a little pink tubey. And it either has a black cap or a green cap. And it's just a really great mascara. It's a really good price, of course. It's a drugstore mascara. So I definitely recommend trying out this mascara if you haven't tried it out already. And for lips, I'm using the Rammel London Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade Tiramisu to line my natural lip line. And then to fill in, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London.
And that's going to conclude the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll have all the products listed in the description box. I'll see you later. Bye.